So hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn with Gigs. Today I am back with another four real-time scenario-based questions which are very important and are being frequently asked or something related to these questions is being definitely asked. But before starting the video, I would recommend you all to see the first six parts of this Power BI interview Q&A series also as I can assure you all that you can easily crack the interview after watching them. So go and check out the video first. I have provided the links in the description box too. So let's start the video without wasting any time. Let's start with the first question. How can you visualize your month on x-axis in a line chart in the order provided by the business user? Suppose from July to June. That means we have a line chart on y-axis we are representing the revenue and on the x-axis you are representing the months. So the starting value of the month should be July and the ending one should be the June. So how can we achieve this requirement? For this, we have to do three things. First of all, we have to create a calculated column for the month that is physical month is equal to the calendar month. As you can see here, physical month is equal to the calendar month. We have just done the replication of the existing month present in the calendar table. Then we have to create another calculated column for the month number. As you can see here, physical month number is equal to if calendar month number is greater than 6 then calendar month number minus 6 else calendar month number plus 6. Why, have, why we have chosen as 6 as value because the month number for July is 7. So if it is 7 then 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. So the newly created month number for July will be 1 and similarly for August, September it will be, it will be 2, 3 uh, and so on respectively. So in this way we have created a new month number that is the physical month number according to our requirement. And once that is done, we can just sort the physical month by this physical month number and then use this physical month on the x-axis in the line chart. In this way, we can solve this requirement. Let's move ahead with the next question. How will you create a dynamic date table yourself if not present in the table in the model? So sometimes the backend team doesn't provide you a, a separate date table in your model. So for that, how will you create yourself? So we can make use of calendar function. We can also make use of calendar auto function but the preference should be the calendar function. As you can see here, the calendar function takes two arguments, start date and the end date. So how we have configured the start date and the end date, as you can see here, the start date is given as 1st January 2015 because this is the starting date of the data that we are pulling in. Okay, So that we have hard coded it here and then the dynamic part is the end date. So for that we have made use of today function. So we have made use of year function, month function and day function to take out the year, month and day respectively and uh, as a result we will get the date of today. So in this way you can answer this question. So let's move to the third question. If we have to restrict our total year to date to the last sale date, how will you do that? So suppose you have a line chart and on x axis you are representing the month and on y axis you are representing the total year to date sales. So if, if I talk about 2021 year, so it, it will represent the sales from 1st January 2021 to the latest date of September month. Okay, so it and after that it will show the value as zero. But the requirement is that it should not show the zero as value. It should restrict to the latest date of the September month. So how will you achieve this? Okay, so for that we can make use of variables. So as you can see here, we have made you, we have created two variables. The max selected date value that will take the maximum value of the sale date. So this is the orders table that is our fact table and from there we have taken out the maximum sale date. We have created another variable total year to date restricted as you can see here total year to date restricted is equal to total year to date that is the function that we have used here sum of the revenue and the date is less than equal to the maximum selected date. Okay, so the calendar table which is which, which actually has that uh, continuous dates that will be restricted to the maximum selected date and the maximum selected date is giving us the maximum sale date. Okay, so in this way we can restrict our total year to date. Okay, and then at the end return total year to date restricted. So as you can see and now if you pull the total year to date on the y axis it will be restricted to the September latest month uh, latest date. So I hope you understood the question and also the solution. Let's move ahead with the last question. How will you calculate the sales happening only on weekdays? They may also ask 
how will you calculate only on the weekends also so you have to prepare both the things here we will talk about the weekdays so for for weekdays we have made use of filter and sumx function so as you can see in the variable we have created a, a variable called weekdays which is filtering out the days which are not equal to 6 and 7 6 and 7 means uh, in a, uh, excluding the saturdays and sundays so excluding the saturdays and sundays will give you the weekdays and the filter function will create a table with all those days and then we can pass that table in the sumx function as you can see here weekdays is passed here and we have calculated the sum of revenue for those days okay so in this way you can answer this question and if i talk about how you will answer the weekends so for that you have to make a slight change here in the filter one filter section here you can make use of equal to function calendar day in a week is equal to six or calendar day in a week equal to seven so in this way you can modify the statement and you can calculate the sales happening only on weekends so thank you for watching the complete video i hope you are learning a lot i have shared my experience of giving and as well as taking interviews so please go and see all the videos it will definitely help you all if you're loving the content please hit the subscribe button uh, it will motivate me to make more videos for you all and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you